Hi everyone. Um, it's me. Sorry, I'm gonna turn the music off. Um, but yeah, long time no see, guys. It's been a while. Um, I know last time I, you know, uploaded the video of my um, last video for a while, and sorry, I got a little raspy voice too lately, allergies. But um, yeah, and I feel like it's about time that I, you know, give you guys a new update. Um, Life's been good. Life's been really good. And um, um, I know with all this coronavirus and, you know, pandemic going on, everyone's going through a lot. And, um, you know, I'm very, I'm very blessed. Um, and, um, yeah, I kind of lost my train of thoughts. I didn't really plan out what I wanted to say tonight. Um, mostly just, I guess, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, and, you know, maybe talk about some things that work, some things that don't, and, you know, how I've been doing overall. Um, I've been doing great. Um, the past few weeks, I actually have been a little, you know, in the rough end, but that's only because I have been at the good place so often that when I'm not at the good place, the bad place kind of feel even worse. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but, you know, I, I, I have been, you know, very, I guess, blessed with, um, with this opportunity and, and having dystonia and I think it completely changed my life and it changed who I am. Um, it changed my perspective on everything and it allowed me to have this experience so that, you know, I can share this with you guys. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very, you know, of course, I, if <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I, I struggle between the two sides of, um, if I don't have to have dystonia, if, if I could choose whether to have it or not, you know, would I ever have it or not? And there's actually some days that I really think, you know, I'm very glad that this happened to me. Um, but of course there's days I'm like, man, I'm just so tired. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to keep training and, and, you know, I just want to be a normal person. Um... But, you know, hey, what's the fun in being normal, right? So, um, yeah. So, that's that. You know, I think I've been doing great. Um, some up and downs, but overall, you know, a lot, a lot better. Um, but let me give you guys some updates on dystonias, um, how I'm doing physically, you know, on that aspect. Um, I guess mentally, too, because it is somewhat of a mental thing. Um, I don't know how the light just changed on my computer. Um, but, you know, if I, as you guys can see, my head still tilts. Mostly to the right, I am still biasing this side of my brain. Um, um, but, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm biasing this side of my brain. But um, some days it starts to tilt to the left. So, you know, I have made a lot of progress with the Sonia. Um, it's, I don't even know where to begin, to be honest. Um, I'm much, much calmer now. Um, I have felt a lot of sensations I wasn't able to feel before. Um, you know, I'm not like completely you know, recovered yet, but it's it's been a lot of progress. Um, and just being able to be aware of what is even happening in my body, it's 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 a step forward, you know, because you have to kind of be aware of what your body is doing before you can try to guide it um, to to the way you want it to be, right? And and I don't say correct because. 
that's too heavy of a word. Um, you know, correcting means what you're doing right now is wrong. And that's, that's, I think that's the basis of how to recover from dystonia is acceptance is, it's the, the biggest part, right? Of everything that you do in life. And, um, you know, I noticed that in, you know, in the beginning, and if you guys watched my previous video, you would know that, you know, I struggled a lot with trying to change who I am and trying to change my situation because, you know, nobody wants to have a lot of pain or not be able to move around or think the way they want to. Um, but over time, I have learned to not struggle with that anymore um, or as much as I, I can, you know, and even when I am. The key point is even when I am struggling, I am not struggling about me struggling. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, if I'm feeling bad, I'm not going to feel worse about me feeling bad because that doesn't help anything. Um, if I feel bad, if I, you know, I'm mad at myself about something, I'm not going to feel mad about me mad at myself, you know? So, um, yeah, so, so the foundation is stop, you know, just, or not even stop, just, just try your best not to fight yourself. Um. I know you want to turn your head, you know, a different way. Like, you know, if my neck is stuck on the side, you know, or if I feel pain, I feel, um, you know, the twisting or what, whatever sensation you feel, not be able to think, um, not be able to maintain eye contact, not be able to move. I mean, you can name it, whatever, right? Um, stiffness, you know, whatever. Um, you know, do your best to accept it because at the end of the day, you can't change it. You can't force yourself to change. And that's, um, I don't want to get off topic because there's so many things that I want to talk about, but I want to try to keep a, a structure, but I, I'm going to jump around a lot. Um, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, but I think, you know, in the beginning, every time I did my exercises, I gave myself so much pressure because I was, um, each exercise I was doing, I was focused on how it will make me feel afterwards. Um, you know, what they say, the, the manifestation, you know. Um, I was so focused on the results that I kind of, I. but the, the thing is, if you really think about it, is... Changing your, or teaching your learning, teaching your brain how to think or behave in a different, a, a, a more effective way doesn't happen in one day. Um, and, and it's an unrealistic expectation to think this exercise, or if I do more of this exercise, um, you know, doing this exercise, I'm going to feel better right away or, or even in the expected amount of time that you had in your mind, you know. It just doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Um, nature, you know, has its plans in a way. Everything has a process. Um, I ultimately did not respect the process. I was injecting too much of my own whatever, you know, rather than standing back and, and, and respecting what is happening and just allow it to happen. And... Um, you know, I think one of the biggest lessons I learned from this, this process of teaching myself and guiding myself, um, allowing myself, respecting myself, loving myself, all these things, um, is that, you know, the gold is in the process. It's not in the results. Um, when you can finally be able to do that and, and do it, you know, truthfully, um, without forcing yourself, you, it's just when it becomes a belief, naturally, it would be, you would take a lot of pressure off your own shoulders. Because, you know, when I was doing these exercises, I, I keep thinking, if I do this exercise, I'm going to feel, um, sorry, I'm drinking wine. <laughs> so, mm, I was thinking, if I do this exercise, I should feel better afterwards, you know, a little bit. But, that's way too much pressure and, and that effort and all that just didn't help. It actually made things worse. But um, 
Um, but when I let go of that and just focus and realize the gold is in the process, really, I wasn't doing these exercises for the manifestation, for the results. I was doing these exercises because I wanted to do them for fun, you know, for, for, for the process, for the understanding, for, for the, the process of guiding my, my mind and guiding my body and just teaching my body what, what I would like it to do, you know, but not really pushing against what it's doing right now. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing to keep in mind when you're doing, you know, whatever exercise you're doing. And I'm going to rephrase again. Um, I, I know I mentioned in my previous videos, if you do have dystonia, I highly, highly, highly recommend you to look up Dr. Farias, um, F-A-R-I-A-S. I believe his website is, uh, actually I don't remember, but if you Google Estonia Recovery Program, it will come up. Um, it's probably the best $40 I could spend every month. Um, and I think he's actually doing the first month for free now. So I learned he's the first person that explained to me what dystonia is and then from there you know i worked with other people like other functional neurologists i continue to do uh, neurofeedback and you know i meditate 20 minutes a day so there's a lot of things i'm doing to help myself um and <clears throat> um yeah and and um abraham hicks um that's someone you should definitely look up if you're spiritual you know if you believe in um, you know, um, I don't know, if you, or if you just want some answers, you know, um, about life and things like that. And everyone that has been in my life, um, uh, have helped me a lot and I learned a lot from them. And, um, I, yeah, I guess, I mean, another thing I guess I could talk about is, um, and, and this applies to anyone, and even, you know, if you don't have dystonia, but you're just, you know, in this pandemic, and I know a lot of people have lots of fear, um, anger, um, you know, with Black Lives Matter and all these things going on, um, confusion, just, just everything, whatever you, 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 mostly I feel like, you know, fear and, and blame and anger and, and, and avoidance even you know um what have i found the most helpful is and that's something i work on every day because i have the tendency because let this let me go back to talking about some of the behaviors i don't know if you guys heard of fight or flight and um you know, we have these natural reactions to, 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 to situations that, that are built in us to help us survive. Um, these are the fight and flight. You know, when we encounter a situation, we either choose to fight it or we choose to fly, which is run away. Or, and there's also, and, and Caesar, um, I don't know if you guys know Caesar Milan, the, the guy that trains dogs, actually talks about this too. You know, there's the fight, flight, there's avoidance which we just avoid it um it's kind of similar to running away but it's a little different it's it's almost like i'm just not even gonna look at it you know i don't know it's, it's a little that's that's what my brain loves to do avoidance um and then there's surrender and i will highly highly suggest you guys to anyone you know during rough tough situations to aim for surrender surrender if you can um because when i find the most ease and comfort is when i surrender to my pain to my frustrations to my anger to my fear um to my not enoughness you know to my even avoidance to you know pretty much at wherever whatever state you are in if you can manage somehow to convince yourself to, to just accept it and to just, in a way, become friends with it, 
become friends with all of these feelings. And that's why meditation is such a big thing because it's, it's have helped me a lot because it, it, it gives me a set of time, you know, for me it's 20 minutes every day to just sit there with whatever that's on my mind. Um, I mean, the ultimate goal is to quiet my mind, but I don't always, you know, like I rarely, even after what, like 10 years of meditation now, I think, close enough, maybe seven, eight years, um, I don't quiet my mind, like maybe once in five, six months, one, I get that one day, I'm like, oh my god, this meditation is amazing. A lot of times I'm sitting there running my head with, you know, repeated thoughts and, and whatever, right? And But when I can manage to sit there and allow these thoughts to, to just kind of float around and not fight it, it kind of, it changes, you know, these fear and all that stuff. It kind of doesn't, it loses its hold on, on me. And... At a certain point, I actually feel really, really good. I, I find comfort in pain and fear. Like, I don't know. You can find good feeling in, in these bad feelings. It's, it's a weird thing. So, um, and, and if you put it in a, a more, not so spiritual perspective, but in a, another more realist, I guess, more rational perspective, um, Finding yourself just, you know, I'm trying to think of a way to, you know, this is a thought that I have, was I was thinking before, and I know it's a very sensitive time to talk about things like this, um, with Black Lives Matter, I definitely you know want to i want to say black lives matter and i will understand where they're coming from actually i don't you know that's the thing it's it's no matter what the argument is i don't understand what they're what they're going through because i'm not black and and what i have told my friends you know when this conversation comes up is not one race in this country have to teach their kids as part of survival almost that you know, when you get pulled over, you must not, you know, put your hand, move your hands or whatever. Like, no other race in this country fear, you know, that kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. I, get, I think you guys hear what I'm saying. And, and again, I'm not black. I don't understand it. But what I'm saying, and I, but I'm also not agreeing with what's happening with, you know, um, um, you know, people stepping over over that boundary and trying to completely defund, you know, the, the, the police force. Um, it's it's as a, in a rational way. I, I think you know the best way I can explain it is, it's it's saying that I have an arm that doesn't work. Comparing this to you know the police, for example. I don't know how I got on this topic, but, you know, I was thinking about this yesterday. And in a way, this kind of ties back to dystonia or, you know, everything else. But I have a bad arm. It doesn't work. Therefore, I don't want this arm anymore. I'm just going to chop it off. That's kind of what we're saying, you know, with defunding the police. I don't want this anymore. Get rid of this. Where the, the rational thought, obviously, is how can I help my arm to recover, to get better, to, to become effective again, to become a good arm that can actually help me rather than completely cutting this arm off and I just don't want an arm period you know and I think a lot of us think in that terms not just towards the black lives matter but towards lots and lots of things you know it's very black and white there's no gray area in the middle where if I don't like something I just don't want it get, get rid of it you know and, and, and especially if you have dystonia that black and white is very you know um, we think that way. We tend to think that way. A, a, a lot of dystonia um, patients are type A personalities, you know, or perfectionists or whatever, you know. And um, and I used to be that way, but you know, I'm here to tell you that you can change. You can 
Only if you're willing to, obviously, but you, you can train your mind to do whatever it wants. It might not be the easiest thing, but, you know, you can. Um, yeah, so... Um, I guess, yeah, I, 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 this video is already 20 minutes, so I'm going to stop now. But um, I guess I will at some point in the future make another video about more technical things. Um, if you guys want to hear me talk about, you know, how neural feedback is going, some, some of the exercises I've been doing, um, stuff like that um, to, to maybe help you guys. But, you know, everything that I'm doing comes from Dr. Farius' website. So, um... And I can't teach you, you know, you can only teach yourself. So in a way, you know, I, I can only tell you what works for me, but I, I think it's definitely worth worth the time to, to check to check out his website if you have dystonia. That's, I mean, what do you got to lose, right? Not even, it's not like a doctor there is tell, giving you any options, like take this pill and you'll feel better, you know, you don't have those options. So what is there to lose? Um, but just keep in mind that what you're aiming for is the process. You know, this this process of, of recovering has taught me things I would have never learned otherwise. Um, so, yeah, you know, and that makes me feel better about what's going on um so i guess ultimately you know yeah just just do find ways to to find peace with whatever is going on and um i wish you guys the best of luck with everything and stay safe um and i will talk to you guys i don't know when but i will um you know try to update hopefully not too long from now but yeah um, yeah, so take care. Bye.